My name's Dr Naomi Richards and I've come to New Cumnock today to talk to an Age Scotland group about the International Death Cafe movement and to hold a death cafe with folks here um, to give them sort of the opportunity to discuss anything they want to do with death and dying. So without further ado, we should find out what a death cafe is. Uh, really, a death cafe is... Um, Yes, exactly. Tea, cake and conversation, but the conversation is going to be on matters relating to death and dying. <laughs> the objective, according to some death cafe organisers, is to increase awareness of death with a view to helping people make the most of their finite lives. It's a sort of grassroots movement um, in terms of people wanting to develop new forums where they can talk about issues around the end of life. We have to challenge the taboos surrounding death. We've got an ageing population and it's an issue which uh, just can't be brushed aside. Uh, we've got to be more informed so we can make the correct decisions, not just for ourselves, but for our families uh, and wider circle of friends. So I'm going to really uh, hand over to you now to, talk, to initiate this death cafe. It's not a facilitated discussion, so I'm not here to guide you. I just want it to be free flowing. But I do have some conversation starters, which I'm going to leave face down on the table. If you get stuck and you think you oh, could do with a bit of inspiration, you can, you can look at those. But I think for, for starters, just see what comes up. And this is a self-selecting audience. People may have stayed away today who didn't want to talk about the end of life. But I think when you just give people the opportunity and then they can take that. Usually when you attend death cafes, there's no uh, formal introduction and uh, it, it can lead to people uh, floundering without really knowing what they want about. Having uh, uh, Naomi come in and give a perspective from the university and what her research is about uh, gives people a good indication of where we should be starting our conversations, breaking into the subject and opening it up. Does anyone want to offer anything about how that was for them? It's been very, very informative. We've discussed right through the topics of it. Okay, death and how, how it's affected each and every one, how it's affected families, um, and it's been very, very informative. Brilliant. Well, I've never came across the concept of Death Cafe before, so it's been, it's really opened my eyes and it's made me think I'm, we manage other council complexes, so it's really gave me an idea to go back and try and open this up and get my tenants to talk about it, because it's still quite a taboo subject. I'm Linda Paxton and I'm from the Salvation Army in Lockerbie. I can take um, what we've heard today back to a group and uh, we can listen and uh, discuss it. They embraced it this morning. I was a bit worried to begin with. I didn't think they were actually going to catch on to the whole death cafe thing, but they certainly did, and the buzz around the room was, was amazing. So yeah, it's definitely been it's been it's been brilliant. <laughs>